what is an LM curve and uh, you have to derive the LM curve in this. So what was an IS curve? IS curve was the combination of interest rate and output at which goods market is in equilibrium. While LM curve is the combination of interest rate and output in which money market is in equilibrium. So IS curve combination of I and Y in which goods market is in equilibrium right it's a goods market equilibrium while LM curve is the combination of I and Y in which money market is in equilibrium right so when you're talking about money market equilibrium you'll have to talk about what is the demand for money and what is the supply of money whenever you talk about equilibrium you will have to talk about what is the demand for money and what is the supply of money well demand why do you think that people demand money people demand money for two purposes right one purpose is the transactions demand for money another purpose is the speculative demand for money now the purpose well when i say money i mean the money which you're keeping in your pocket for example right so when you say that it means what that is if your income increases you will have more demand for goods in order to have in order to satisfy your demand for goods you need to have more money with you right so in order to carry on daily transactions so you will say that this is the reason you demand money i mean in order to satisfy the, the the daily wants you need to have some amount with you that will call as transactions demand for money and we'll assume this that this is this is positively related to related to income if your income increases your demands will also increase your demands will increase you need to have more transactions so more transactions will give you uh, uh, more transactions will lead to more demand for money right so demand for money is the demand for real balances because people hold money for what it will buy, right? Uh, the higher the price level, the more nominal balances a person has to hold to be able to satisfy a given quantity of good. That, that is very simple. So if inflation is not there, right? Or if inflation is less, you'll have to keep less money with you in order to satisfy the same amount of wants. But inflation is more or there is a very high inflation you need to have more money with you in order to satisfy the same amount of wants, right? Right. So more money in the sense, the nominal money balances. You remember your Zimbabwe uh, problem, okay? It's like an hyperinflated country. It was actually. Uh, so in 2008 uh, and probably before than that also, uh, you can probably go back and search in Google. So it's like, oh, uh, they were carrying the boards which which were saying that starving billionaires right they have bundles and bundles of money okay nominal money balances which they have to satisfy i mean which which they used to carry on uh, carry with them in order to in order to satisfy want and what want just to buy a bread right so i would like you to go, you guys to go back and search on the google uh, i think starving billionaires and something like that i mean it has it has a direct relation to what what Zimbabwean economy uh, actually experienced in this time. Okay, probably between two thousand five and two thousand nine or two thousand eight, and somewhere in in July two thousand eight, they, they dismantled their currency. Anyways, I don't want to get away from the topic. Uh, the topic says this that so there are two three things which we have learned right now. One is what is your IS curve, combination of interest rate and output, which will uh, keep goods market in equilibrium. LM curve, combination of interest rate and output, which will keep money market in equilibrium. When you're talking about equilibrium in money market, it means you have to talk about demand for money, and you'll have to talk about supply of money. Demand for money, demand for money is coming out of two purposes. One is your transaction demand for money, another is your speculative demand for money. I'll talk about speculative in the meanwhile. Transactions demand for money is, in order to satisfy want, you need to have some money with you in your pocket. It is it is positively related to income if your income increases your demand for goods will increase in order to, and when demand for goods will increase your transactions you need to have more transactions with you 
so your transactions will increase right hence this is what it is so this is your and one more thing which you have said that if your price level will increase you need to have more money with you in your pocket nominal money balances will increase your demand for nominal money balances will increase so the real balance is what you can buy from a given unit of money okay the amount of goods nominal is the nominal money right okay so this is l we generally denote as the demand for real balances we say it is equal to ky minus hi y is your real income okay and we say this that it is positively related to income as you guys will see here it is it has a positive relationship with not not with income i'm sorry yeah demand for real balances has a positive relationship with the income that as the income level will increase your demand for real balances will increase right as income level will increase demand for real balances will increase but it has a negative relationship with the interest rate this is your speculative demand for money this is speculative demand for money and this guy is transactions demand for money right so think about it when your interest rate will increase okay i don't want to pick up bonds etc right now but think about it if see money in your pocket doesn't earn anything does it but if you keep this money in let's say bank it will earn something it will earn what it will earn interest rate right it will earn that interest so if interest rate will increase what will happen if interest rate is increasing it is better for you to keep money in the bank not money in your pocket is that right because it's better for you i mean you'll rather earn something instead of just keeping with you in your pocket but if interest rate will fall when interest rate is low you will say why should i rather go to the bank and keep money there instead i'll just keep it with myself because neither interest rate is very high and nor money will earn any interest right so it's better for you to keep money with you you guys are with me money in your pocket earns zero interest right money in the bank earns some interest most of the banks right now are giving like i don't know what 6% uh interest on deposit so right now you'll rather earn 6% for example your money i mean if you keep this 100 rupees in in bank it will earn 6% so it's better to earn something instead of just keeping it with you so you understood the relationship when interest rate will increase you will say it is not good for me to keep money with me i'll rather keep some money in the bank right so demand for uh demand for money will fall when i say demand for money i mean demand which you i mean the 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 money which you want to keep in your pocket right so that demand will fall clear but when interest rate will rise so when interest rate will will fall so when interest rate will fall you will say why should i keep this in bank i'll rather keep it in my pocket when you're keeping it in your pocket so your demand for money will increase so it has a negative relationship within between, between interest rate and demand for money so k and h are sensitivity parameters like your just your uh, parameters for transactions demand for money and speculative demand for money right so demand for demand function for real balances implies that for a given level of income so if income is given to you if y is constant then i and l they have a negative relationship so it is a decreasing function of rate of interest and higher the level of income higher is the demand for money that is also true if your income will increase your demand for money will increase because you need to have more transactions in order to satisfy your wants so your demand for demand for uh, money will increase right so higher level of income higher is the demand for real balances for a given level of interest rate your demand for money curve will shift to the right i think i have told you in the last lecture too that if see this this is the demand for money curve 
okay it is drawn in which space i and l space so if there is any change in i and l that is the movement along the curve anything apart from i and l that will be the shift in curve so y is something which is apart from i and l so if y is increasing demand for money is increasing and hence this is a shift in the curve clear